got a fever, the only prescription, more highlights. We are back <laughs> to him here. Dad Centennial joke. hosting winless. Hey, dad jokes for the win. <laughs> Centennial hosting winless Pure Emmanuel quarterback Brady Boatwright gets some help from Braylon Peacock and Jalen Coleman on the nice block for the 17 yard gain. Boatwright then takes to the air, hitting Jack Young Jr. for a 29 yard touchdown as they take a 14 0 lead as time expires in the first in the little hello, sayonara. Now in the second quarter, Boatwright once again. Young Junior, the jump pass, 20 to nothing at that point, 48-6 all charged. And just like Centennial, Danville is also 3-3 three and three down the stretch, meaning they've got to win twice to have a chance. And Javen Miles, he's on the keeper. He's trying to give him that chance, Brett. He brings it up to the middle there for a decent pickup. Now Miles throwing. He'll find his guy, Matthew Thomas, for a big gain. He's got it. Wildcats, though, knocking on the door, but Richland, Dandridge, and Tommy Harris Jr. turn them away with a big stop here. It'll be 28-14 as West doubles up Dan. At 2-4, and four, Central has to win out to have a chance at qualifying for the playoffs. Maroon makes the trip to Peoria High. Start with David Wills, a nice goal line stop for Champagne, tackled on the one-yard line. Keep them out of the end zone, but way too much for the Lions tonight. Eddie Clark cashes in on the next play for the TD, making it look easy. Do the Lions tonight, 60 to 6, all pure. Let's go to the Central State 8 for a battle of the top two teams in the league, Rochester at Glenwood. Check out this catch. Whoa. One handed grab from Miles Stapleton for the touchdown. Incredible stuff there. I think that's a play of the week nominee. Love Rochester it. would answer an easy run in for the score by running back Daniel Chapin, and they march back and forth down the field, and Hank Beatty. Rolls it out wide and finds Colton Reiser for the touchdown. It'll be 48, 49, excuse me, 28 Rockets. Can Hank Beatty play quarterback in the Illinois? <laughs> yeah, they might can meet him tomorrow. They can do everything else. Sangamo play has Auburn and North Mac matching up. Auburn defense forcing Caden Brown with a fumble, but North Mac gets the ball back and here a big run by Jake Ferguson. Not the tight end playing for Wisconsin tomorrow. That's the other Jake Ferguson. This one, a nice run, though. Then Wyatt Williamson <laughs> finds the end zone for the score. The Panthers put up a 50 spot. They get the shutout as well. You mean Jake Ferguson wasn't playing high school football tonight? Uh, I don't, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Our final prep stop takes us to the eight-man game as Milford, Cisna Park, and Blue Ridge face off. And here's Sawyer Lappin. Hands off to Sam Cabe for a touchdown. It'll be 6 nothing. And Blue Ridge quarterback Joey Cole hands it off to Cole Pemble. Runs it up for some yardage there and a few plays later. Pemble will hand it over to his trusty guy, Cole Pemble. Runs it in for the touchdown. 6-6. Six, six, it'll be 52-14. Bearcats get the road win. All right, our top three is next. The final check with the orange and blue as Brett Puma goes against his former team for the first time. Plus, the end of the links. Day one of the Boys and Girls State Golf Tournaments. We take you to normal and Decatur.